Today, we'll learn how gentle we must be with the helpless little creatures of the forest. Take these little newborn baby birds, so helpless and dependent, with no means of protecting themselves. Whoa! While I'm down here, let me tell you the story of another helpless creature. <laughs> you mean you? <laughs> what a glorious day. It was perfect for a bird-watching expedition in the Gimiguchi Woods. Bird-watching? You gotta be kidding. I like adventure stories. Trust me, this story has everything. Adventure, wild animals, and even a tear or two. Okay, campers, we're entering the woods. Let's stay together. Oh, I definitely intend to. Yeah, I was afraid of them. Okay, campers, keep a sharp eye out for all the different varieties of birds in these woods. And remember, everyone, look but don't touch. Uh, perk up, people watchers. Here comes a flock of them. Shh. Let's try not to frighten them. Uh, uh, look, it's a clutch of nitpicking grouses. Oh, and they're following the yellow crested camp. Are you sure? He looks more like a turkey to me. <laughs> Somehow, in the excitement, none of us realized that Robin had wandered off. It seems she'd found a bird's nest with some newborn chicks in it. Don't cry, little birdies. I'll look after you till your mom gets back. But on the cliff above her, something was about to happen that would change Robin's life. <laughs> All right, now the story's getting good. I told you it would. Further down the river, Mama Bigfoot dragged herself ashore, waterlogged but safe. Boy, this is kind of sad, isn't it? I told you it had a few tears. There, this should do till we get you back to your own home. Meanwhile, have the sandwich I brought along. Okay, then. How about an apple? Then tell me, what is it you want? <laughs> Don't you worry. I'll find your mother if it's the last thing I do. Yoo-hoo! Mrs. Bigfoot, where are you? Robin? Eee! I told you these woods were scary. It's only me, Robin. Why'd you scream like that? I, uh, I wasn't screaming. I was, uh, trying out a new bird call. It goes like this. Eek! 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 What bird is that? The chicken? Whatever it is, it's resonating my sinuses. Okay, gang, I think we had enough bird watching for today. Why don't we uh, head back to the camp? <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of Lake Cachatori, that no good Rex DeForest III was putting up more of his signs. Lake run properly, property for sale. They sought to bring in the suckers. Uh, customers. Nothing blazes. Chester, you idiot. Must you eat that ice cream right over me? Uh, totally sorry, boss. The sun is making it melt. Well, finish it before it turns into one big drip. Just like you. Uh, right, boss. Uh, hey, somebody already ate it. Well, it certainly wasn't me. Yeah! 
It wasn't only at Rex's that things started disappearing. It was happening at Camp Candy, too. Binky, you may have your security blanket, but I have my security fudge bar. What? I have my security fudge bar. Oh, yeah. Get down, bodacious beast. Hey, somebody saw my boombox. Well, we know it wasn't a music lover. Even the girls' cabin wasn't safe from this hairy-handed sneak thief. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? You are Princess Vanessa. I got news for you, Vanessa. That mirror's completely cracked. Disappearing right and left from Camp Candy. And all the clues pointed to. Rick! Me? The secret swiper? No way, dudes! My boombox was ripped off too, remember? Yeah, that's right. Who could be stealing our stuff? Yeah! Steal yeah. my boom! Yeah. Like Can I have this? Thanks. I'll take this if you're finished. And this, and this too. It's simple. The thief took my moose. So let's just look for someone with great hair. Maybe it's an escaped lunatic, or a giant two-headed Martian, or worse yet, the phantom from beyond the tomb. No, I suspect it's a real person. Maybe even someone we know. <sighs> someone we know? I know it sounds crazy, but why not? I think John is right, and that leaves only one suspect. Robin? Robin? Why not? You saw her swipe our chow, and now she's gone. Alex is right. Robin definitely flew the coop. Kids, there's only one way to get to the bottom of this. We'll organize a search party. We broke up into small groups to search the Kimmy Gucci woods. I hope Robin doesn't mind our using her pet possum as a bloodhound. Scoop it out! It's part of something! Maybe it's Robin. I seriously doubt that. <laughs> you are right! Hey! Hey, come back! Ho! Oh, hey! Ho! Oh. been stealing our things? Uh, not yet, boss. But I'm hot on the trail. Ah, what have you done to my lodge? It's completely ruined. Oh, uh, yeah, but the good news is I found a couple of real hot clues. Look. Size 34, triple E footprints. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bet it belongs to some giant gorilla. This is a forest, not a jungle. The closest thing to a gorilla around here is you. But whatever it is, I want you to capture it. Understand? Oh, sure, boss. Oh, what do I use for bait? That night, Rex DeForest pulled one of the cruelest tricks imaginable to lure the poor, innocent Smallfoot. The irresistible aroma of fresh popcorn. With butter or without? Definitely with butter. Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty cruel trick, don't you think? Could have been worse. Shoot. Can we go out and get some popcorn? Right now, as a matter of fact, it's time for a commercial. Hey, I'll join you. The next morning, Rex and Chester checked their trap to see what they'd captured. Hey, boss, when you see what I caught. Whoa. What in blazes is that thing? Uh, I think it's a kangaroo. No, you dimwit. It's a small Bigfoot. Hey, you know, boss, I wish you'd make up your mind. It's one of the rarest creatures on Earth. And he's about to put the DeForest condo development on the map. While back at Camp Candy, we just sat down to a hearty breakfast. Rick, are you finished with those sweet rolls? Negativo, babe. Good, then I'll take them. What exactly do you think you are doing? Saving you from a lifetime of cellulite. In that case, thank you. Robin, what are you doing with all that food? I'm, uh, taking it to, uh, my animals. Robin, you've been acting kind of strange lately. Yeah, like totally weird. You want to tell us what's going on? Well, if you must know, I found a baby Bigfoot. Oh, oh yeah. Well, if you must know, I found a baby Bigfoot. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Well, uh, now, Robin, a uh, 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 Bigfoot, <laughs> that's, uh, you know, that's, that's just kind of kind of hard to swallow. All right, just for that, I'll prove it to you. Come with me. You better not come in. You might scare him. He's just a baby. <laughs> Smallfoot, where are you? Maybe I'll just wait out here. Yeah, good idea. Hey, there's Rick's boombox. My missing mouse. And my jump rope. All our stolen stuff is here. Robin, you can tell me. Did you take these things? No, I told you. Smallfoot did. Hey, look at this. Robin wasn't driving us after all. Buy a condo and have your picture taken with a real live baby Bigfoot the truth. There actually is a baby Bigfoot. That means that he's been captured by that awful Rex to force the third. There he is, inside that cage. He sure looks sad. Who can blame him? He has the worst case of frizzies I've ever seen. We've got to see if he's all right. Don't worry, Smallfoot. I'll get you out of here. Hey, you. Uh, quit bothering the exhibit. He's not an exhibit. He's my friend. Yeah, I don't care if he's your twin brother. Now beat it. Poor Smallfoot. What do we do? I have a plan. Man, what a radical idea. Dressing up like a real Bigfoot so you can frighten those creeps. Hmm, there's still something missing. Really? Well, if you say so. Anyway, we better get going. Just a moment, sir. I've only got two hands. Please, no, don't hurt me. I didn't take your baby. It was all his idea. Who oh, it was? Oh, gee, wow. Huh? A bare foot. 
Yeah, I thought you said it was a big boy. Get that phony! Uh-oh. <laughs> like poor Smallfoot was about to become a permanent attraction for Rex DeForest's condo scheme. Okay, dudes, we got a scrap plan A. Anyone have a plan B, maybe? Let's skip B and go directly to C, which stands for Cage Clippers. <laughs> Told you kids to beat it. Chill out, my man. You were just taking a shortcut through your property. Hold on, who's this guy? Uh, him? He's a new camper. Kinda hairy, isn't he? Well, yeah, uh, he uh spilled some hair tonic all over himself. Uh, we're taking him for a styling right now. Maybe something in a punk look. Shoot kids today in their long hair. Wait a minute! But what the kids didn't know was that Smallfoot was leading a trail that Rex DeForest and Chester could follow. As for me, I was still being chased by that angry swarm of hornets. Ugh, reading the newspaper is so depressing. It's just one grisly story after the other. Oh, that's why I never read them. They're just too unbearable. <laughs> afraid it was one of your relatives coming to visit. It's gone. How did the little beast get loose? <laughs> you know, I don't know, boss. Nobody's been here except those Camp Candy kids. Camp Candy kids? Those little brats must have been behind this. Hold on. What's this? That would be popcorn, boss. And I suspect it leads to our kid kidnappers. Let's go. The kids figured they'd teach Smallfoot all about summer camp, starting with baseball. Come on, Smallfoot! Knock it out of the park! He'll never hit my screwball. It's him! I'd recognize that squawk anywhere. <laughs> Boy, you sure got a nose for sounds, boss. Yeah, see what I need? You're a real chance, Smuffet. Nobody can handle my screwball. If you decide to go pro, I'll be the manager. You're too late. He's my property. But he doesn't belong to you. He belongs to the forest. Out of my way, you little brats. I've got condos to sell. No, I won't let you take him. <laughs> It'll take someone a lot bigger than you to stop us. <laughs>
it up, Tandy. That stupid costume won't fool me twice. Huh? Chester, help me pull off this stupid rug. Uh, right, Bob. Oh, oh, he must have used super glue or something, boss. <laughs> Know something, boss? Oh, I think that's a real Bigfoot. Tell me something I don't know. It was a happy reunion of mother and child. I hate stories with a mushy ending. Get enough of your favorite furry little alien, then don't forget to tune in Monday at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Hey, Elf here, watch my show, or I'll send a box of fleas to your home. <laughs>